What up, though? This is Friday Souls, and you're in Kaya's Sewing Closet. Well, we talk about everything sewing and a little bit about everything else. So, welcome. All right. Now, we're doing a pattern haul. We got to talk about my birthday outfit and plans. And we're going to talk about the projects that I want to work on for November. And one of the projects that I'm I supposed to work on this week. Okay, so we'll get into that. So let's start with this pattern haul. I just went to Joanne's yesterday. I think it was yesterday. And I'm gonna do them last. I'm gonna do them last, okay? So, first we got pattern 8348. 8348. Can you see it? Oh, so pretty. It is a Mrs. Dress and Shrug. The fabric suggestions are stretch knits, such as jersey, interlock, and cotton knit, sweater knits, C stretch gauge. Let me show you the. Can you see it? The line drawing. Yes. Oh my gosh! I have I have another pattern that's something like this, but I don't know if this one is hitting different than that one. But I like it. I like this one and this one. Yes. Super cute. Super cute. Next, I have my cause 8340. Beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous. <laughs> so, this is a women's knit dress, and it's for average sewing. The last one was easy. This is an average sewing pattern. The fabric suggestions are two-way stretch, 50% cross grain, such as jersey, interlock, stretch velvet, and it has the stretch gauge. Interfacing lightweight, um, fru lightweight, frusable interfacing. I, I, that always get me going. Here's the line drawing. Nice. For view B, I like that for spring. But I'm thinking, well, I really don't wear dresses in the fall. I want to start, but my legs and my feet, they get cold real fast. So I try to wear jeans or slacks, joggers and stuff like that. But I like this for fall, for spring. That's really pretty. That's really pretty, and it's a knit. I have another pattern that looks something like that, but it ain't quite like that. Next pattern is 8342. One of their new patterns. I like this dress here. Super cute. Super cute. The shade and line drawing. Did I show you the line drawing for that one? I think I did. And this is a shirt dress. Fabric suggestions, poplin, cotton blends, linen lawn, and lightweight, frugible interfacing. I mean, I like this. This is nice. I like this. This is cute. I like this one. I like this one, too. I like, I like all three. Really nice. Really nice. Okay. Now this one is eighty three forty seven. And I didn't tell you guys the size ranges, but for all my patterns, they are the um bigger sizes. I don't you know, I used to get the little sizes because I didn't know what I was doing. But now I'm a little bit better, so now I just get the biggest size. And this one goes from an extra from a large to extra extra large. Now, 
this is 83.47. Now, I like UA. Super cute. So, all of them is cute. I like them. And this is a poncho. Looks like it's easy. It says average. Fabrics, wool blends, flannel, fleece, ripstop, and lightweight fusible interfacing. I have another one. McCall 6209. That's pretty. She wearing that. She wearing that. I don't know why I thought she had on thigh high boots. That was in my mind. But now I see those are rugby boots. But I like them. I have a pattern that's similar to this one already. I don't know the pattern number. But everybody. I mean, you see this. Everybody know what I'm talking about. Everybody should. But I like this. This looks like just a little shirt wrap. But it's nice. I like it. This is a Mrs. Poncho and Belt. Oversized poncho A, B, C, and D have top stitch trim and shaped hemline. Poncho, a poncho has a belt. Poncho B and C has a collar with tie ends. Poncho D has a hood and French trim. Poncho E has a collar. Fabric suggestions are fleece, wool, wool blends, molten wool double knits, Additional fiber may be needed to match stripes, plaids, or any one-way design. And this goes up to a medium. I, I mean, it's a poncho, so I don't know if I'm going to need to grade up on this or not. But, I like this one. It's really pretty. Next, is 8351. Now, she wearing that. She wearing that. I like this. Two piece. Oh yes. It goes up from to from extra large to extra extra large. This is um Mrs. Lounge pants top and hoodie. Fabric suggestions are sweatshirt, fleece, French terry, cotton knits, and velour. We all got a little knit in our little fabric stash. So. Now, and all the patterns was $1.99 at Joanne, okay? Now to the nitty and the gritty, okay? The nitty and the gritty. The Know Me by Mimi G. Brittany J. Jones. Zero, I'm sorry, 2002. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. And when I first picked up this pattern, I only saw the shirt. And I I fell in love with the shirt. But then when I looked at the line drawing, baby. Baby. That's one, two, three. Outfit and one pattern. Okay. A B C A B C and D. Yes. And this is a women a missus and women's knit top and jeans. Brittany ain't playing. Suggested fabrics is stretch knits only, such as interlock, jersey, rib knits, ITY, stretch sweater knit. See stretch guides. For C and D, it's cotton blends, denim, linen blends, pinwell cord, stretch wovens, lining for C and D, cotton blends, polyester, lining fabric, interfacing, lightweight. Okay. She out here. Go ahead, Brittany. We we proud of you, Brittany J. Jones. 
Now, another Know Me by Mimi G. Sins of Many. Oh, my goodness. Look how handsome that man is. Look at this. Yes. Imagine making your husband one of these out of his favorite basketball, football, whatever. You know what I'm saying? This is a man's varsity bomber jacket in two lengths. Fabric suggestions is corduroy, cotton blends, micro suede, stretch wovens, wool blends, sweat shirt fleece, a con contrast for um, number for three, rib knits, lining, linen, lining fabrics, interfacing lightweight. Look at that. Whoa. That is really nice. Oh, I'm sorry, Brittany J. Jones, I got the big size, which was a 20 wide to a 28 wide. And his is a 44 to a 52. And his is average, and I'm sorry, Brittany's is average. That's my husband calling me. So, Know Me by Mimi G again. Ruti J. Adore. I think this is, if I said her name right, this is, I'm sorry, his was zero, was two zero ten, um, Sins of Many, and Ruti J. J Adore, I'm so sorry, her pattern is 2001. When I first looked at this, I just liked the jacket, the coat. Coat and pants. Yeah. From size 20 wide to 28 wide. This is a Mrs. and Women's Coat and Trousers. Fabric suggestions is tweed, wool blend, gabardine, cotton blends for B. Cotton blends optional. I'm sorry, not optional. Oh, I can't even pronounce that one. It's Dapper Dini. <laughs> I'm not sure. Linen blends, sateen, stretch wovens, and lightweight wool blends. For the lining, it's polyester lining fabric and lightweight interfacing. Let me show you that line drawing. Again, look how nice that is. Oh, this coat is gorgeous. Gorgeous. And the pants. Look at that. Oh, she wearing it. She is wearing it. Okay. Okay. Last pattern. I just saw this pattern. I was at, we was at Best Buy. And I just saw a design like this on the runway. I can't remember the, the designer's name. But I just saw it. And I'm like, ooh. This is No Me by Mimi G. Kichi B Style 2007. Oh my goodness. Stop playing with her. Look at that. Look at. Okay. This is a Mrs. Knit dress. Look at that. You can do so many things with that. This is from an 18 to a 26. I can see this with no sleeves. I can see this with short sleeves. I can see this in all kind of situations. But that green. She popping. She is popping. Y'all let me know what y'all think about some patterns in the comments. I mean... Run to Joanne's. The sale is still on. The sale is still on. Okay. Now. Birthday. My birthday. It's my birthday month. Hey. It's my birthday month, y'all. Okay. So. I made a shirt from a call 7817 for the Black History Month Challenge. That was created by 
so natural day. I can't remember her name. I want to say Natalie, but I know that's not it. I know that's not it. This is the pattern right here. I did this one. Wait, I think I did. One of them, they look the same to me. So nice is uh, Mrs. Woman's jacket, loose fitting jacket, have lengths and sleeve variations. A, B, collar, tie, closure, C, D with belt, okay? Suggested fabrics is crepe cotton, crepe cotton blends, poplin, crepe de chine. It says this is an easy fabric, an easy pattern. Okay, now I made this for the Black History Month challenge, but something was wrong with my phone. It wouldn't, it wouldn't load. And I made it out of some Ankara print. And what I did different is, because my belt kept sliding off or something, so I just made it into a wrap shirt. I just, you know, made it to a wrap shirt. I put elastic on the bands because I don't know why when I wear stuff like that, the sleeves always dip into the my food so got threads hanging that that's not even stuck to nothing but y'all it's so nice i i did a um y'all do a french thing no i did i surged i surged it yep i surged it it's nice i'm wearing this for my birthday okay and some black pants that my mother-in-law gifted to me for my birthday a couple of years ago but the problem is i have to tighten up the elastic because it keeps falling off so and i don't like that so i gotta fix it these some cavern clients i think she got this one i don't know where she get the, got these from but that's what i'm wearing and what i was gonna wear that i talked to you guys about last week was this pattern here and I was going to wear this when I got home and I was lounging out and just, you know, chilling. Wait, let me show you the line door for the last pattern. I'm sorry. Okay. And I was going to wear this when I got home from going out and enjoying my birthday. I was going to come home and throw this on. This is pattern 8242. That's the line drawing. And what made me like this even more, because I have made this the jumpsuit part portion. Let me show you right here. I have made this before, but I cut it off and made just the pants. Right? So, Anne Marie. I want to say from around the world with Anne Marie, if that's it, if it's not, but she know who I'm talking about. I love you, girl. I love you. I love you. So she made her one and her her daughters and her daughter in law. And I want to be comfortable too. So I was gonna make me one out of some blue fabric. It's on my table, but I don't know if I have enough fabric. It just wasn't working out like I thought it was. And I don't have enough space, so I'm going to have to use the floor or something because my cutting table is not allowing me to put all the patterns on there all at once. Okay, so that's my birthday. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I appreciate it. Now, what I am want to work on for November, because I already know, because I already, I always give myself so much stuff that I want to do. I write a list like, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And then I get so, so I get anxiety. Like, you said you was going to do this. And then at the end of the month, ain't nothing done. So I'm going to cut it down. So I'm going to cut it down. So Okay, you remember me telling you guys about my jacket. I done cut the pattern out. 
I got to cut it out the fabric. The fabric is like a it's a it's a flannel, and this is eighty three eighty eight. A jacket. We all think this flannel. We all know. We all know what this about. I right, got the fabric. I don't have the lining yet. I have lining. But you know we want to go buy new fabric. So, <laughs> okay, then I want to do this Mimi G style pattern, 8177. I like the cardigan. I like this. I like this, and this is a woman, a Mrs. and women's pants, unlined coat or vest, and knit top. That's the line drawing for that. Okay. Now, I love this. Now, imagine this with these big leg, wide leg pants. Okay. Wide leg pants, and this is 8605. This is a Mrs. Pull on skirt and pants, each in two lengths and belt. Okay, and then with this turtleneck and body, turtleneck bodysuit. This is pattern 5813. This is a Mrs. Knit bodysuit. I like this one. But what I'm thinking, I want to put all three of them together. And I got enough fabric to make two turtlenecks, one pair of pants, and two cardigans. It's a di I'm going to do a different card again, but I didn't even bring it out when I was getting all my stuff together. I, I forgot. I forgot all about that. I forgot all about it. And for my plans for my birthday, I'm, I want to go to some fabric stores like I do every year for my birthday, for Mother's Day. Any day that's for me, which is every day, I want to go to a fabric store. So, but my honey gonna take me to a fabric store. I think it's Zinc. I want to say the Zinc's that's in Ohio. I want to go there, and I'm gonna do a video that's gonna be part of my Friday sews for next week. My birthday is on uh, Thursday. On a Thursday, so I'm going to make my video early for Friday Souls, and it's just going to be me walking around Zinx telling you guys about the fabric that they have and how much fun I'm having. <laughs> so, y'all look out for that. I want to say thank you to all my subscribers and for all the new subscribers. Welcome. Please come on in and join the fun with me. I appreciate it. I appreciate Jan. She's the creator of Hashtag Friday Souls. She gave everybody a platform to do whatever they need to do on Friday Souls. And tell everybody about it. So I just want to say thank you to her. I want to say thanks again to all my new subscribers, everybody that commented. I really appreciate it. It helps me so much. It gives me courage every time I look at uh comment and they so encouraging they so inspirational they just makes my heart swell so please comment like and share and subscribe if you know come on in and subscribe we appreciate it over here so okay everybody stay blessed and i'll see you next friday bye